Hey everyone from EverythingCountry.com, this is Felix again, and I'm here with Steven and Eric from Love and Theft. Thank you guys. Yeah, thank you. Um, it's a pleasure meeting you guys. Love your music and everything. So, question for the people that really don't know you guys, where did Love and Theft come from? Where did that name come from? The name is from a Bob Dylan album, actually. He had an album called Love and Theft, and then he got it from an old book. So it's got a lot of history to the name, and we heard it, we're like, that's a cool band, that'd be a cool band name, because we went through a bunch of band names. Like just trying to find the right one, and a lot of stuff was taken, you know. But that was nine years ago, so we're uh, it's stuck and we like it. So. What are the names of you guys? What are the names you guys had in mind? The eighty fours, eighty fours, Vinyl Sons, uh, Banderson Lyles. <laughs> None of them were that good. So when we love someone brought love that, we're like, oh, that's good. We like that one. All right, awesome, awesome. Yeah. Now another question. Um, you guys had that song uh, "Whiskey on My Breath." Where did that, where did inspirations that song come from? Where did, where did, you know, where did it start? Eric and I have lost people that we love to addictions, you know, and, uh, and we battle our own addictions like everybody else. So it's a, uh, it's an important song. We wrote it, wrote, written at a cabin with some other songwriters, and it just kind of came out naturally. And then we made the decision to make it the title track of the album that we just put out last fall. So, so we, um, we wanted to put out a song that really could have a positive influence on people and touch them in a different place than some of our songs. Some of our songs are party songs and all that, So, that, but this is kind of something that will, it's been actually awesome because people come tell us their story about it, and it's and a lot of people can really relate to it, so we're, uh, we're glad we could leave that mark. What are your future projects besides touring? Do you guys have another album coming out? I know you guys released one last year, but you guys have you know, more singles coming out, You know, yeah. any more videos, <clears throat> music videos, or what kind of future projects do you guys have in mind? Yeah, we just signed a new record deal with Curb Records in Nashville, so uh, we're kind of re-releasing and relaunching Whiskey on My Breath, yeah. and we're gonna work that for a few months, kind of see what happens, and then reevaluate kind of where we're at. But we're gonna go back in the studio as soon as possible and start recording a new record, and uh, it'll be our first release on on Curb. So probably come out sometime later this year, maybe early next year. Who's your Who's your inspiration? Who actually inspires you guys to actually like write music? Who's your motivator? Who pushes you guys to, you know, write your music? I mean, it's different things for both of us. I mean, obviously, we want to release songs that we write uh, in Nashville. You know, labels try to, you know, they want you to cut the best songs possible. So they're pitching you songs from the A-list songwriters, and then you're kind of playing your own songs that you've written for them. And it's all in the same pot. So we write as often and as much as possible and try to write the best songs we possibly can just so they're contenders for our own album, which seems kind of backwards and messed up. But that's just kind of the way the game is played. So for us, you know, Everyday, everyday life, our wives, our kids. There's all the different kinds of inspiration for writing. I mean, we're on the road 90% of the year, so we take a lot of inspiration and uh, I guess different things away from being on the road. So now, being on the road, being on tour, and everything like that. Who's a troublemaker? Who's a prankster? And <sighs> what's your What's your favorite moment on the road? Oh, it's changed that's... in the last year. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I went. From drinking a whole lot to not drinking at all, I'm almost a year sober. So we both used to be pretty crazy, and you know, we both kind of toned it down a little bit this year. All right, so then no pranks on that bad or anything. No, I mean, not really. You don't want to piss people off too bad. On the road. <laughs> uh, he, I have to live with them all the time. He yeah. once lit my uh, my my favorite Miami Heat hat on fire, and he sent me a video. I was at a bar down the road, <laughs> and he sent me a video of him torching it, and I was pretty sad. So you're a Heat yeah. fan, I guess. Yeah. Like, all right, all I'm right. I'm from Clearwater, Florida, or Palm Harbor, Florida, originally. Okay. I'm a big LeBron James fan. Big LeBron so when James. He, when he was here, I was like yeah, more, even bigger Heat fan. Mm -hmm. I root for the Cavs, but I'm not. Since he's not on the Heat, it's a little hard. But I want him to win. But yeah. one day. <laughs> <laughs> um, now with with all the new, all the new music coming out and everything, all the new style like the hip hop, you know, hip hop country and everything. Mm -hmm. That do you guys see yourselves doing a record uh, a little bit like hip hop mm -hmm. Probably no. not. I think that it's not probably no. We have a we have um I mean, we have a song that's gonna be the next record called Candyland. It kind of has this like spoken rap thing in it, and but we'll probably get someone else to do that instead of us do it. Most likely, I'm okay. not sure. If it's it like were a hard to be a rap part, it would be someone else. The way we have it in there now, it's just a sung part. So. We work really hard to kind of stay away from that side of it, just because we're singers and we're passionate about it. Uh, so we were like, so I think that all the hard work we've done, like putting this guy on a breath out, was their harmony song and all that stuff, 
kind of be lost if we go there, so we're going to stay as far away from it. That's, right, that's good, that's good. Because that's our thing, you know, that's our... Now, being also, another question, being on the road, what are the five top things you cannot <laughs> live without on the road? We gotta have your cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, cell phone. like other than the normal things, like uh, I love Trident Whitening Gum. Mm -hmm. uh, you need hand sanitizer because we shake you know, sometimes mm -hmm. thousands of hands in a week if we do a bunch of, we do meet and greet after a sign or two. Um, you need, I like Rembrandt Plus toothpaste. Um, I need to have definitely some hat options on the road because I don't want to do my hair all the time. You gotta have some good hat options. Uh, what else? Anything else? No. I go with the hat options. I'm bald, so. Gotta have a Walgreens. Okay, I'm <laughs> a Walgreens. Yeah. Now, you guys being a, uh, a duo, have you guys ever thought about doing um, a song with another duo? Like, well, you know, and who would it be? I don't know. I've thought about it. it. Front up, we would want it to be probably an iconic classic duo, so I'd probably go with Hall and Oates personally. But as far as the duo goes, um, you know, as far as collaborations, the Eagles, or who's left of the Eagles, uh, Tom Petty, any of those, any classic rock. Classic rock, yeah, that's good. It'd be considered country now, so. We gotta work really hard so we can get to the point where they know who we are and they might consider doing it. <laughs> Well, like I said, we're a big fan of yours on here. We can't wait to see you guys on stage um, later on. Um, last thing, your motto that you guys live by, you know, you want to tell our fans, you know, what's your motto music-wise and life-wise? We don't have, like, official one. I think the thing with Eric and I is we've stayed steadfast. We've been doing this nine years. This is our third label. We've been dropped. We've been we've had hit number one hits, and we've had hit songs that did, didn't do anything on the chart. So for us, we just try and work hard, harder than everyone else, and just uh, steady wins the race. So we just keep on going, and I think, and that's the best. Uh, that's the best thing we've done is just keep on going no matter what. Even if, even when you're playing small, you go from big place to small place and do that as much as you can. Don't give anyone an excuse not you know not to succeed. Guys, thank you so much for the interview. I really appreciate it, man. And can't wait to see you guys on stage. Appreciate it. Thank you guys.